I think this is where Stan Collymore used to come dogging. Hello! <laughs> kind of chase. Oh, dear you. <laughs> Thought that'd amuse you. Right, left. Bloody twat. <laughs> yes. That's left up here. Windy dive, indicator! <laughs> I'm only leaving it on to test you now. I'm doing it on purpose to make sure you're paying attention. Tell him, Dave, his indicator's on. I oh, know. Tell him, say, your indicator's on, man. Oh, man, your indicator's on. <laughs> you don't care. Paul said your indicator's on. <laughs> the indicator watcher has said your indicator is still on your knobhead. <laughs> oh, he's still going right. He's still going right. Oh, he's off his urgent now. So I'm going to go right here. I'm quite sure what the fuck he's doing at the moment. You off, Rob? He's off. We're going up here by all accounts. No, we can't be going up there. OK, Dave, carry on, we carry can... on. Are you through? Yeah. Bring me out. Some lovely back lanes. Sorry, Dave. There's some lovely back lanes. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Van. Oh. Lapley. Lapley. Pigeon in the road, dead. Oof. 106 yards bearing right. This is a nice place. Lovely place. 
this church here. The church and the steeple. Oh but there's so many people. Nice stuff up here. Yeah. There's some poo on my shoe. Alva day, Alva. Okie dokie. And shite. Gravel and shite. Oh, dark shite. Oh, you bloody man. You, you bloody man, you. And more shite and potholes. Potholes, shite and gravel. Potholes, 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 potholes. Grit, grit, grit. And shite. Oh, potholes. Oh, gravel. Gravel, get to the left. Oh, my God. I think it is straight over. Okay. All over. All over. Marvellous. Naughty boy bike these are. Hey? Naughty boy bikes these are. Oh they are more did you clutch in. Nah, just that's it. In gear. Off you go. Uh clutch is better. It's better in what's near my yeah, it's very what's near there on that. Like yeah, I have to look yeah. Yeah, it's a lot different to that on the uh Okay now, I thought I already told on mate. <laughs> I saw get moving. Ah. Try, try it in second, Dave. It's I in second. I'm all right now. I've re the clutch is right on the the bite's right on the. Uh, yeah. On the yeah. what's the name, any? Yeah. Anyway, I got it now. Oh, I can see why it's called a naughty boy bike. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh dear. All good? All good. Let me there, mate. What was that? There you are. Okay, I'm coming. In the captain here. Oh, I'm looking for you in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, oh, this is oh, this is a very naughty bike. This is. Yeah, yeah. 
What do you reckon so far? Yep, right man. Nothing to it. getting used. That's great. The gear, gearbox is like butter on it. That's so burnt, isn't it? Thought you'd, I knew you'd like it, that's why you had to have a go. I'm telling you what, it's quite... The bloody sight's quite comfortable, isn't it? Ah. I knew you'd like it. And it does about 80 mile to the gallon, that does. How many, Dave? 80 mile to the gallon. Is it? Yeah. Don't use no juice, hardly. But that's exactly the same bike as the Himalayan. So, if you, want, if you like oh. the Himalayan, it'd be the same. Yeah. I don't like this. It's not like it's comfy, don't you? It is a comfy bike. I love it. I do. Absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, it. But what we do is bloody perfect, and you ain't worried about if you nick it or scratch it or anything. Because it's just, just it's light as a feather, you can flick it around. It's just a lovely bike. Just get used to the clutch, and you're all right. I think it's, much, it's like a lot out further than that one on that. Yeah, yeah. But you get used to it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very smooth as well. Yeah, it is too, man. Look at this, man. I bet you buy one next weekend. Oh. I bet you buy one. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, this. For, the, for the price of them, you might as well just buy a new one. Yeah. I want my just get in one side, so I got a thought about without running in. Yeah, it it don't take that. Don't take long, does it? It don't take long. You just I just went out on uh, my own about three weeks. It took me and I'd done it. Yeah, you got to keep it fifty miles an hour, is it? Uh, you got to keep it, uh, forty maximum up to three hundred and fifty miles, and then fifty up to twelve hundred and fifty miles. But I'll be oh. once it got to about. Uh, 800 miles, I was letting it go up above 50. You know what's that little clock, Dave, on the right? The clock? That's a uh, sat nav, that is. Oh, are you? It's like that, it's like that's called a tripper. It's like the beeline, I've never used it. Oh, But it works, it works. Like, in fact, because the pain in the arse, the beeline, I might try it next time and see how it does. Oh, bloody hell. So you get they come as standard on the uh, on the uh, scrams and Himalayans. They're great bikes. Royal Enfields make bloody brilliant bikes now. Yeah. For the money. I've got to say a lot of this. I can see why these are known as naughty boy bikes. <laughs> it just wants to go, don't it? Not a good that does. Yeah. It's only bursts of power and it's unbelievable. I don't know. 
a little sample of it when I was just uh, down in third gear. Thought, ooh, come back, down ship. You'll have to have a go on the CCM next. Oh, we can keep on the CCM, are we? Yeah, have a good one. Maybe next time I'm out on it. See what you think of that. What engine on that, Dave? Uh, 650. 650. Yeah. Oh, I've got the uh, pulling away sorted now. You got it now, do. Yeah, it's very, uh, very fine touch. The only thing you got to do with a bike like that is you've got to yeah. ride it old school. You know, like, because you've always got your torque to hand on this. You haven't you done that. But you've got to ride it like old school because you haven't got the torque available like you have on um, a bike like this. So you've got to be using the gearbox. You've got to use the gears, are you? Yeah. That's the only yeah. th that's the only difference really. If you want to get up an hill, you got to use the gears. If you want to, you change that, you? If you want to, if you know, if you're going into a, a bend that you want to accelerate out of, you got to make sure you're in the right gear because you won't have the torque otherwise. But that's yeah. but that's all you got to remember with them really. That's old school bike riding. Bike riding. Uh... And what we got to do as well. Is we'll probably do not not off roading as such, but might go down a track or a trail now and again. Oh, that a big fun. Yeah. Not green lane. Oh, we, we, oh. Well, we've saw There's one. A green lane. That's it. We saw one when we were down in uh, the Cotswolds. It was like a. a yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Oh. And uh, we thought we should have gone down that. Would have done it had if I was on the scram. Oh, it'd be great if Kev gets an intercom now. Get him off. Oh, I'm gonna get him an intercom. Yeah. He's having a funny birthday. Yeah. He's gotta get one. He's gotta have him on the intercoms. Yeah. Traffic. Ah, uh, I'm Blake. How is it, Blake? All forces, day Kev says it in me. Ah, oh, right, that explains it then. So, 2.25, time's about right. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be. You're about 10 minutes away from home. Um, that was an enjoyable ride, eh, that was. Uh, we went north and east rather than south and west for a change and did a Shropshire, Staffordshire back to Shropshire loop that was really nice uh, and I get to have a go or got to have a go on the Naughty Boy bike the Kawasaki Z900 RS oh, that bike could get you into some trouble uh, yeah, and uh, whilst I was having a go on that, Paul's tried out, little Paul, tried out the uh, the Scram. He had a test ride on the Scram. And I've got a funny feeling that he may be visiting QB Motorcycles over the coming week. And uh, if I was a betting man, I would be placing a, uh, a solid bet that he's either going to have a Scram or a Himalayan. And uh, that'll be brilliant if he does. Absolutely brilliant. He'll cut down the wear and tear on his uh, on his Z900. Uh, it'll be more suited to some of the back lanes. But uh, you are, I can imagine, he must be biting that on the narrow and back lanes with the with it just wanting to uh, tear away. So um, yeah, 
hopefully we'll see another bike soon with Puff and Paul and uh, yeah it's been a lovely lovely ride out really enjoyed it uh, this bike's now set down the scrams 1147 miles that's it as far as I'm concerned it's running uh, his next excursion is going to be uh, up to the Isle of Skye in Scotland he gets to travel with us in the van as a passenger uh, along with uh, Paul's um, Hunter so it'll be Stan the Hunter and uh, Little Boy Blue oh sorry Stan the Scram and Little Boy Blue the Hunter uh, travelling back seat in the van up to the Isle of Skye and that's uh, two weeks on Tuesday 16 days away uh, so it's great fun a lot of fun this bike is a lot of fun I love it I love it there we go up the hill effortless it's, it's it what more can you say what more can you say that's enough of my nonsense now um, so again I hope you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching uh, you know the drill uh, please feel free to like uh, leave us a like and subscribe if you like if you want to and uh, comments up to your comments as always uh, um, I'll say thanks for watching take care of yourselves I'll see you all soon uh, ta-da a bit <laughs>